back to my channel you guys so great to see you again i am using this rust-oleum furniture transformation um coating system it's really like a varnish to me but better because it does it in one coat um this paint was about 34.99 for the small size and the large size is 74.99 so they only have two different size boxes and when you get it, you take it to the, the painter booth and they'll mix whatever color choice that's on this box. I chose the color Kanoa. It comes with four items in the kit, a deglosser, a bond coat, a furniture polisher, and then a protective coat. It also came with instructions on how to use it. Very easy instructions, stirring kit, a sponge, and a scrubber. Well, that's really like some kind of drop cloth but it's, it definitely was working. These are boards that I bought to um, build around my mirror, and these are the spice rice that I bought from Ikea, and behind it is the board that I'm gonna use to make my shelving for my bathroom. First thing first is I'm gonna degloss these white boards because they do have a shiny finish on it, and it was so easy to do. All I did was I took the deglosser, put it on the scrubber, on the Brillo scrubber, and well it's not really brillo but it's rough and just wiped it down and it wiped down so easy and after that i took a, a soapy cloth water cloth and wiped off the, the scrubber and i began to put on my coat my bonding coat and see how it just took to the, the wood you guys these items look great it is a chocolate it's called canoa it is like a dark dark sexy chocolate and I can't wait to see what it looks like in my bathroom. See that back long board back there? I only just painted half of it because I only wanted to use two boards off of it. So um, I can't wait to do that. And this is what my spice rights from Ikea turned out to look like. You guys, I told you I wanted to create an open medicine cabinet concept with that because I don't have a medicine cabinet. And these are the boards that I cut. Now I did keep the Ikea hook that you connected to, and I also took the liberty of hanging a tile rod on here. I absolutely love this shelving, you guys. I was reached out by a company to offer me um, items to do my bathroom, and it never came. So I got tired of waiting and went ahead and did this. But I'm so glad I did because what they're sending me, it can't touch what I've just done with these items. Okay, next I wanna reframe this mirror. And to do that, you have to remove that ugly plastic star. So I needed something to support the mirror because you do have to have screws there to, to hold the mirror up. So I'm gonna exchange that star with a washer. So what I did was I removed the star from the mirror one at a time, and then I stuck the washer on the screw and screwed it back into the mirror. And voila, now my mirror is still supported. It went from being all bucky so nice and flat and smooth so that I can profane. See how that star looks? <laughs> like a jellyfish, huh? Okay, I've already applied one board and I put that little extra strip there because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit higher at the bottom to look more, you know, professional versus just one big rectangular frame. I wanted to have some kind of meekness and I used liquid nails and I put a generous amount down the center making sure not to get too close to the edges because it will ooze that on the side. And you guys, you don't want that on your mirror. Also, I made sure that I just kind of like, you know, put one coat on the back of the boarding so that when you put it up against the mirror, you don't see the wood from the back of the board on the reflection of the mirror. So you have to press this nice and firm. And I did this for about two minutes, pressing and holding onto it. And with this board, see how I just leave some of the paint off in the middle? Okay. And now I'm just gonna put the side bars on. Now when I applied these on, I did not press down on the other frame that's down at the bottom where my hand is resting. I just applied pressure to the mirror itself because I didn't want to knock my bottom frame down because trust me, it's not completely dry yet. And I think it looked good. Here I am looking all confused thinking, okay, is it gonna stay up or is it, is it not? Now I spent about on um, the paint, the nails, liquid nails, and the boardings, um, total up to 
probably about $80, but don't fret. I also bought frames to do my daughter's bathroom mirror. So that helped with some of that expense. So now I got both sides up. I'm starting to like it. I'm ready to do the top. I've held them down for maybe two minutes, counted very slowly. And now I'm hanging the last piece, which is on the top. And I can't wait. I did notice that, you know, stacking the boards up and bringing them in the house, that some of the paint did chip off. So I did touch that up with some more of the Rust-Oleum Transformation Coat and um, Freedy Gloss it. Now, the glo I mean, glossing and glazing is option. I chose not to. I really like that flat finish. And it was so easy to go on my ca um, cabinet. And I have so much left over. You guys, it took no paint at all, hardly, to do this. I love it. So I've added my towel bar for my hand towel. And I've um, attached it to the spice rack instead of attaching it to the wall. I thought that would give it some flatness because when you try to attach it to the wall, it came out a little farther past the spice rack. And I didn't like the way that looked. So I attached it to the bottom of the spice rack. It also keeps you from putting extra nail holes in the wall. And here's how I decided to decor it. Now this is just kind of like, you know, some quick decor, but I may change it again. But what's important is that you see the transformation of the shelving. And I absolutely love that cabinet, cabinet now. I bought some new hardware, the handles are new, and it just looks so rich, so classy. It looks like a hotel um, bathroom and that's what I was going for and my bathroom is very small so I'm actually standing in the bathtub to get this angle but if you were standing in the bathroom it trust me it looks so much bigger with now that I've done this the darkness on the wall makes such a great contrast to the paint oh yeah and that paint color is new too it used to be white now here I just took a regular towel bar you saw me haul that from the sink and I um, adhered it to the bottom of the board Remember, I hold these IKEA um, hooks right here, floating hooks. But my board that I bought was a little bit smaller, but I'm so glad that um, IKEA had these little screws that you can screw in the bottom to support the board because my board wasn't quite as thick as the ones that come from IKEA. So I decided to use the top bar for my towels. And these are going to be usable. Like I said, I want a usable bathroom so my husband will be comfortable in the bathroom and that little plant you guys came from ikea it's a succulent plant it's a real live plant three dollars you guys ikea got the best flowers and they're all so dirt cheap remember i also did a diy on monogramming those towels and you guys have been using it and like i said the monogram have not came off now this is the towel hook that i bought um, also from Home Depot and I think it was $19.99 or $17.99. I actually love it. See how I attached it to the spice right instead of the wall and I thought that was very unique to do that. So my husband has the top row since he's the tallest of the two of us and I kept the bathroom sink very very clean. Only thing on the bathroom sink is mouthwash that I put in a new bottle and then hand soap and then we use a, like a little shot glass to use our mouth pump our mouthwash into I absolutely so love it I'm you guys I've been just sitting on the side of the bathtub just sucking in all this greatness because I'm like why didn't I do this a long time ago Anybody can put a towel bar up, just screw it to the bottom of your shelf or just screw it to the wall. Really simple. Well, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. If there's anything in the description box that I leave out, please ask me. But please check that description box if you have any questions about um, items used, prices, whatever. And you want to mention how I get my measurements. I love you guys so much and I appreciate you all.